one thing that I think women should take note of is that it's a really good idea to be brave with their money when they're young, when they've got a long time, I'm talking about retirement money here, when they've got a long time before they're going to be spending the money, then that's the time to get into shares, perhaps property, higher risk investments that have an up and down track but over the long run grow much faster than the more conservative investments that too many women get into. I mean one very basic tip that everybody's probably heard is you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and that basically means you want to spread your investments out in two different ways. One is not having them all in cash bank term deposits or all in bonds which are kind of a middle level investment or all in shares which is a riskier investment. You want to have some in each of those but also within each group you want to own a lot of different shares, you want to own a lot of different bonds or there's a much easier way of doing that and that is to get into a fund. Where it might be a KiwiSaver fund or it might be a fund outside KiwiSaver that holds a lot of different shares for you so you don't have to own 20 different shares or some of those funds own a thousand different shares, you get a really wide diversification through them. Keep on investing a steady amount regardless of what's happening in the markets and with KiwiSaver if you're an employee that, that'll happen anyway because you've got your 3% or whatever of your pay going steadily into the KiwiSaver account. If you're doing it outside KiwiSaver you might be also saving for, to buy a house outside KiwiSaver or for a trip or something like that, it's still really good to put the same amount into your savings every week or every month. Whatever's happening to the markets, if the, if the news media are saying the market's going to hell in a handbasket, keep putting that same amount in. It actually works really well when the market's down, your $100 a week or whatever it is buys you more units than when the market's up and so it's really good to continue investing when the markets are not doing well. If you're putting money away for in, into investments like share funds or individual shares or property, it really should be money that you're happy to lock away for at least 10 years because those higher risk investments are the ones that go up and down and you don't want when you're just going to be spending the money to find the market's just gone down and you've got a whole lot less money. So as you get closer to the time of spending, you want to be moving your money out of those high risk shares or share funds into a medium risk and then a lower risk investment before the time you're actually going to be spending it. Another tip is never to invest in an investment where you don't really understand where the profits are coming from. It's not obvious to you that there's somebody paying you interest or paying you dividends or paying you rent. Instead, they, I've, you know, I've been to seminars where they promote them and they look very complicated and down the bottom was a nice big number like 12% or 20%. People sign up to, to get into these investments. I know they don't understand them, I don't understand them, but one thing I do know about them is they're much riskier than the people realise.